Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today we're on our way to another, I wanted to take you guys to another independent yarn store. Now this yarn store is located that we're going to in Casey, Illinois, which is about an, a little over an hour away from us. Now someone told me about it on YouTube. They told me I have to check it out. So I looked it up on internet and they have the world's largest knitting needles and crochet hooks there at this yarn shop. It's called the Yarn Studio. So we're going to go check it out. But also in this town, it looked I looked on when I looked it up, it seems like it's a small town of about 2,000, maybe 2,500 people. They have other large things like the largest rocking chair and stuff like that. I don't remember ears of ear of corn and stuff like that. So we're going to go check it out and you guys can come along. Here are my kitties. They're going to come check out. Oh, they got the world's largest mailbox and stuff. So we're going to go check it all out. There's husband. Um, turn the camera back on when we get there. Okay, I've made it to my destination. Look over there. World's largest rocking chair. That's awesome. But I think the yarn studio is over here. So I'll go look at that rocking chair in a little bit. I got a big bicycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over here to the yarn studio. See if I can find it. Okay, that's it over there. I'm gonna go ahead and ask him if it's okay if I record. I like to ask first in these small yarn shops because I don't know. I don't know. It's different than Michael's, so this is it. The yarn studio, home of the world's largest knitting needle and crochet hook. Casey, Illinois. Or I think they say Casey. I'm not sure, but Casey. Okay, everybody, this is Jeanette. Hey. She's the owner of the Yarn Studio, and she's going to show us the world's largest knitting needle and crochet hook. Okay. Look at this. This is this piece was crocheted with the um, world's largest crochet hook. We just did it last year. It's um, all merino. It's a really nice fiber, um, but honestly, this took it was $150 worth of product. Oh yeah. Because I mean, it's actually yeah. pretty nice, but it's beautiful. It looked great on a bed. I'd love to have a bed spread out of that. I love wool too. It's my um, favorite. Then here is the oh, knitting look at needles, that. which are ginormous. All the way up to the ceiling. Look at All that, guys. All the way up to the ceiling. That's super cool. 25 pounds a piece. 25 pounds. Um, this right here is, look, oh, this is only nine, but it's still heavy enough. Look at that, look at that this, crochet hook. This is our crochet hook. That's super cool. It's awesome. Of the two, it was more difficult to crochet than it was to knit. Let's see the end on it. Yep, yeah, it's like a Susan Bates, huh? <laughs> you know you're crocheting. I'm a boy fan. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, and this is made just like a, a crochet hook. I mean, it's he, he did everything right. For someone who has no idea about crocheting, the guy who made it. Yes, awesome. that's super um, cool. We actually have, you can probably barely see it. We got the certificate on the wall. Oh, for the world record? Uh-huh. Oh, Daniel's book? Yeah, yeah, for yeah. both knitting and crochet? Yes, yes. That That's says super that we're, cool. We're certified with it now. Um, of the two, it took longer. Yeah, okay, okay, this is very unusual, but it took longer to crochet my piece, uh -huh. which is so crazy because crochet can be so quick. Yes. But the hand mo movements uh -huh. were, were way more awkward with this. I can so, imagine. Um, and you could get turned around real easy yeah. with it. Um, whereas that, it was a little bit, it was easier. They were easier so here's a picture of her down here doing it. With the knitting needles. So she had to cast on 10 stitches and knit 10 rows. For the knitting. For the knitting. But for the crochet, I had to do the same thing. That's and super just cool. Didn't have it on there. So, <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. That looks interesting. Interesting. that big ball of yarn up there. We want to see your yarn. All right. You All right. I'm a. Yarn, yarn addict. Where are you from? I'm from Brownstown. You know where that's at? It's near Vandalia. Cool. So it was a little bit, a little over hour drive for that's us. Awesome. Okay, let me move my. Wasn't box. too bad. Can I make it look a little prettier? Here? Sure. It looks good to me. Okay. Okay. Look at all this yarn. Now, is this uh, any of this yarn hand dyed locally, or? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Any of this yarn is it hand dyed locally, or the hand spun, or anything? Oh, or? I do hand dye locally. I do hand dye, and I'm I'm out of everything. Oh, you're out of the hand dye. That's okay. I was I'm just so wondering. Sorry. Um, 
I know a lot of small shops do that. And we do. We do. That's super cool. And, and most of these all come from companies. And I do my own. I just, I sell it as fast as I do it. Another whole job. Super pretty. Look at all this in the royal yarn down here and stuff. See these cakes, babe? The second. Yeah. Gypsy girl. Yeah. Need a hat up there. Look at that hat. I like that hat up there. That's pretty. Look at all these yarn. Yeah, it is. I would definitely wear that. Look at these hanks all over the place. See that cake? See that cake yarn? Cake yarn? Oh, there's yarn just all around me. I'm going to turn around and look at this little yarn here. Those are good. Different brands, huh? Lots of hanks. Lang. Those are green cake up. Oh, look at them cakes. Oh, my goodness. They were pretty. A little lightweight for me, though. How is this hanging? It's $38. It's pretty, though. Pretty. Here, will you lift that box up, please? Yarns here. What's that? It's right here. I know it's neat, but all colors all around me. It's labeled as super fine, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess it is pretty thin. A little bitty. Gypsy Girl Creations. What are those? Oh, we can't eat them. Seventeen dollars. Those are really pretty. She said, "Let's eat these cakes." The two hundred yards. Here's some too. I like oh, those little cakes. Thirty-one bucks for those. Yeah. Well, this is. Is that nylon? Or no, it's just smaller. Three, three ply or something. Yeah, it's probably smaller. Some good colors, though. Yes. This is all lightweight yarn over here. I'm going to turn around here. Welcome. Evelyn, we looking at the yarn? Yeah, that's it. I'm going to eat these cakes, huh? Oh, look at this yarn down here. This looks pretty. Look at those driftwood crochet hooks. I'm going to have to check them out. These are nice. Right oh, here. You're going out? Yeah. Okay. Out. All right, I'll be back. I'll be out in there in a second. How much is this for Hank? I like that. Eleven seventy-five. Is that what it says? I'm gonna have to get me one of these probably. Yeah, I'll have to get me one of those probably. Super cool. How much yardage is in one of them? Those are really pretty. I can't even see the yardage. Oh, we got it in a little bit again. I like that dark one though. It's my favorite. That's probably what I'll get. Oh, those are nice. Driftwood crochet. Those are pretty. That would make a nice set for somebody. I couldn't do that sharp angle though. Make a nice giveaway prize though, wouldn't it? Those are very, very pretty. Nice. Let's see what we got up here. That's super soft. Silk, 30% silk and alpaca mix. Super, super soft. That's really nice. This right here is $30. Let's 
Look at these mini Hanks up here. Oh, those are cute. Too thin though. I'm not into that thin yarn, but really cute though. What we got down here? I really like these cakes. Lots of yarn here. I think there's more here than the last store we went to. Lots of stuff up there that crocheted. Big old teddies. camera study for you guys. Oh, I dropped one. Sorry about my bad camera. I'm trying to be slow, but I'm not that good at Man, there is so much yarn here. Cool yarn. Look at all of those colors. Every color of the rainbow. Wow. Let's check out these balls down here. These are pretty neat. Full shawl kit. $60. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. I wonder if it has a pattern with it, too. It's a whole kit. I don't have to make a whole shawl. It's wool. It's nice. It's a good idea. Selling kits like that. I'm on the ground looking at all this yarn. What's this? 100% alpaca, frog tree. Oh, look at these. Really lightweight though, but they remind me of Red Heart. Um, unforgettable a little bit. A lot lighter weight though. Stand up here. And... Here's some more of that Galloway yarn that I got at the other store. Only smaller skeins of it. It's also really nice. I really, I liked it a lot. Beautiful shawls up there. Look at those. That's so pretty. Both knitted. Very pretty. Jilly Dream. Hand dyed. 440 yards. That's quite a bit actually. For a skein. $22. Well, pretty. That'd probably be my pick right there, but I don't know if I'll get that or not. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. I'll look around some more. Might be too lightweight for me. This yarn right here, tucked away in the corner. Sock yarn, I guess. I noticed about these independent yarn stores, they always have so many hanks of yarn. Now that's really pretty right here, these right here. That look almost uh, tie-dyed. It's so lightweight though, I don't like lightweight. Oh, this is Plymouth Yarn Company. Six 
it's super washed so it won't felt. So that's good if you want to make something out of it and be able to wash it. It's really pretty. But it's just so light for me. I don't think I could... You guys know I don't like lightweight yarns. Is that neon pink? It's light too. Pretty shawls. Knitted. It's really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty. I've got more back here on this shelf. I haven't showed it, and there's some on the other end too. This is down here. Those are interesting. Hi. Let's go check over here at the other side of the store. Look at this little giraffe here. Oh, he's cute. The baby dress is for doll dresses maybe. That's a knitted outfit for a little boy. Okay, let's go look around over here. Some more hanks here. These are a little thicker. More my style, I guess. 170 yards. Right there, I'm attracted to that color. Fifty percent American wool, fifty percent alpaca, ten fifty for a hank. So the yardage, one hundred and twenty yards. Look at the bags up there. Very pretty. That's pretty. And a sweater and a scarf. That is beautiful. We got a lot of yarn here, guys. More than the others. Wool. Thirteen fifty. Two hundred and fifty yards. Soft. I just love wool though so much. More hanks. Let's see what we got here. neat but so lightweight I think pretty cake so oh my that looks like that would be hard to crochet with there's some stuff I think they made pretty scarves Got a lot of pretty knitted items here that they've made. So I think it's pretty. Winter is coming. Knit faster. <laughs> Got a 
up here. Oh, buttons. Containers of buttons. These are knitting needles. Big knitting needles. I need to burn off the crazy. You knit me together. <laughs> I don't know if they have any that say crochet. No, they're all knit ones. Cute though. Those things are pretty. There's the old spinning wheel. It's nice. I hope I'm moving the camera slow enough. Let's see what we got down here. Major universe yarn. Let's see. Universe Yarn Company, North Carolina. Made in Turkey, 100% acrylic, 328 yards. Now I might get me this brown one right here because I like that. So we'll see about coming back and getting that in a minute. Just trying to get take it all in. It's pretty cool we are right here, but. bulky anti-peeling it's really soft super bulky six same made in the same place 197 yards just super soft Here. I'm going to talk kind of quiet because there's other people in here. Appalachian U.S. Organic Cotton. Now I might have to get some of that. This little teddy. Yeah, I might get me a skein of that too. Baby cotton. I guess it's for babies. Yeah, it feels a lot softer. Thanks, of it. I guess that was some stuff that was made out of it. Oh, it's nice. Soft. That's probably what's in these kits right here. Yeah, that's that blanket right there. It's soft. Soft too. Yep. Very nice. Baby bamboo. I'm going to go check that out. Let's see what we got. I like it, it's soft, but it's thin. So this right here. This is really soft too. 179 yards. Lightweight three though. 
Me and me are complaining about lightweight three all the time. There's some sugars and cream. That's something you don't see at the really at a yarn shop. Got plenty of that at home. That's soft too. What's this? Superwash merino wool. Very soft. It's pretty. They have a lot of stuff they knitted in and stuff. What do we got here? These must be bags. Of course, I'm going to be attracted to the brown. Five dollars for skein. These are little kit skin, I guess. Nice. Oh, those are cute. Look at these little hats you make. Oh, those are cuter than the ones I saw at the other store. Look at this little teddy on top. Evelyn needs one of these. Oh, those are really cute. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. This is the James C. Barrett. I have seen this yarn before. It's super, super soft. Nine dollars. With yarns. Cotton. Oh, what do we got here? Soft baby hand dyed. Three weight. I hate three weight. Which books? Oh, I like that dress form up there. That's cute. Oh, no, that's for sale. Probably just for decoration. Really cute though. Put that on my desk. I'll have to ask her if it's for sale. I don't need that. I like it though. Let's see what we got over here. Plymouth yarn. Encore. Color spun. Let's see. Sixty-four yards, eighty percent acrylic, twenty percent wool. Super bulky. Let's see what this is right here. Universal yarns. It's pretty. Oh, here's a hat they've knitted out of it. Oh, it's a little. Yeah, it's a hat. Looks like it's a top. Let's see what we got. 70 acrylic, 30 wool. 12.50. So the yardage on that. 85. These are interesting. I mean, they got a lot of neat yards here. Boston Mix. One ball makes one hat. That's super cool. Let's scoot back a little bit. Oh, look at that stuff. It's a cool yarn here. Looks kind of like a nightmare to crochet with though, but I don't know. I like yarn in this one right here with sequins in it. down here. This stuff is cool. I wonder how much this is. I have to check. I don't have anything like this at home. 
Hi. Oh, we might have to pick that up, huh? That's how we can go there. Did he? Some unique flavors too. Black cherry, soy. Different. Excuse me. Don't okay. touch anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm about done here. Went through it. It's a lot more here than at that last yarn store, but. Yeah. We'll go back out. yeah. We, when they get some. What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Ice cream? What do you want to get? Do you want, uh, do you want vanilla? <laughs> You're being I silly. want vanilla. Bamboo again. Some more of that cool dye, hand dyed stuff. Yeah, look at the largest ear of corn. I think it's one of the largest ears of corn. Go stand by it, Eric. This town's really nice. I'd like to move here. I need to move to Alaska, though. There's a big cactus over there. What's this? What is it? Oh, it's a crosswalk? See, I'm. Look at me. We just have lines with no crosswalks. All right. You gotta go to this ice cream shop. Look down there's the pencil. Oh, down there's oh, the pencil. biggest pencil. Let me see, zoom in on it. Is this all Guinness book? I think some of them I read on the internet were. Some of them were not. It's cool. Her knitting needle and crochet hook were. Yeah, that's all right. I think that rocking chair is, and I think their mailbox is. Cactus. It's cool. I bet they get a lot of visitors here. Mm -hmm. they I, got, I think I, when I read their motto was small town big things or something like that. I hope I'm not saying that wrong if anybody that lives here watches me. <laughs> yeah, the Grock and Chair School. Let's go get an ice cream and then we'll go check out all these big things. All right, I'm going to shut the camera off. Okay, here is the biggest wind chime. Look at that up there. That's super oh, cool. Oh, big thing, small town workshop. Oh, this is where they make the, the stuff? Make the big stuff, I guess. There's the big Rock and Chair. Look at that thing. That's, That's super awesome. cool. <laughs> Can you see those people cool. walking up? How walking? How big it is compared to them? Super Even neat. Buildings, yeah. Building. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off. We're gonna head to the ice cream shop. See if we can find some more big stuff. Eli's going to the biggest pencil. Look at that, Eli. Would you like to write with that? You think you could hold it up? That's super cool, ain't it? Let's take a look at it over here. Stand next to it. Let's see what it says. I don't know if you guys can read it. It says, let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Or write them on the tablet of your heart. Oh, Proverbs 3.3. 3. That's nice. That's so cool. Do not climb on it. It says it's breakable. Okay, let's go look at the other stuff. A big old mailbox up there. Want to go check it out? Okay. I'm just going to show them guys a few big things. You can turn me off if you want. And then when I get home, I'll show you what the yarn I bought. Look up here. This big birdhouse real quick. And then the mailbox. And then probably be heading home. I think they got some more big things. But it's pretty hot out. I didn't do too well with the heat. Yeah, there's the big bird cage. Yeah, there's a bird cage. You guys are going out there, Like there's a swing in it. See it? Eli, you want to go get in the swing? No. No. You pretend to be a bird. No. I can't fly. You can't fly? It's pretty cool. Don't do it. That's nice. Evelyn, say hi. Evelyn. Hi. Let's go look at that big mailbox. Over here is a big old mailbox. Look at that. That's super cool. Let's go across here. Me neither. Yeah. Go up on the sidewalk, Eli. Hold, 
Hold hands. Oh, yeah, they got the biggest wooden shoes, I think. I or No, you got to go. Look, guys. Casey's Candy Depot. Candy. Look at this ice cream shop. Meteors, floats, rockets, sundays, milkshakes. There's the big mailbox up there, guys. I think you can get up in it, but... What? Do not pass up the donut. Well, I'm not gonna pass up the donut. I guarantee that. Stop! Are we getting stuff here or are we going in? Oh. Uh, do you want to check out everything before we grab ice cream? Yeah. Do not pass up the donut. Are they like super good? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Donuts are my favorite donut. They're my favorite food ever. Yeah. What kind of donuts are they? What kind of donut is that? Money, money. Glazed donuts? Yeast, yeah, it's like yeast donut. Well, I won't pass it up. I'll be back to get one. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. Come on. That sounded pretty good to me. Ice cream and toppings on it. I like this place. This is a nice town. Oh, this is pretty. This is my kind of place. You want to go in there? Yeah. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Stay off the grass, guys, it says. Yeah, don't get on the grass. Let's check it out. Let's go in. Oh. Here's on the big mailbox. You yourselves are our letter written on our hearts. Known and read by everyone. You show that you are a letter from Christ. The result of our ministry, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God. Not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Corinthians 3, chapter 3, verse 2 through 3. Nice. Here, let's go up. I'll come with you. It's scary. Let's go up. Everybody wants to go up. All right, we're, we're not going to go up. Let's go look at them from the other side, okay? You sure you don't want to miss out on going up in there? You're going to miss out? Well, let's go look at them up in the top of it, okay? Up in the top? That's where you could go if you would go. It's okay if you're scared though. We can't wait to get one of them. I don't want to climb up there. Donuts. Push the button. You have to push the button. There they are. Say hi. I'm totally going in now. He wants to go in now. Okay, I'm going to shut the camera off for a minute. Okay, Eli decided to go, so we're going up in the big mailbox real quick if you want to come along. Mama's right here. You can make it be brave. Woo! Mama's. Can't walk too many stairs. It's hot in here. I'm, uh, I live a... I don't do a lot of exercise, so this is... No. Come on. Look at this. It's really hot, like a, a big tin mailbox. <laughs> I said it'd be like just being in a big tin mailbox cooking. That's neat. There it is. Let's go get some of them donuts, guys. Yeah, let's go back down. I'm gonna shut the camera off. Okay, now we're checking out the candy depot real quick because going across the bridge. I love candy. All the way across it. It's pretty. I like them big boulders. Some of them in my yard. Wishing fountain. Wishing fountain. Yeah, it's not filled up right now. Oh, I thought that was like a sea it's really pretty the way they have it all fixed up here. No ice cream in store. Look at those, the wooden shoes. Look at these big wooden shoes. I'll come around and look at them. What? Jelly Belly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that. That's a big giant. Please do not get in. You want to read it for me, babe? Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Ephesians 6. That's cute. I like it. Stairs. Is Eli up there? How big them are. Is Eli up there? Go up there. I get this candy. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to get some of this candy. I want those. Oh my my. I'm getting some of this candy. Fudge. Look at that fudge. Ice cream. All right. Okay, we're at the ice cream. I got the donut. Apparently, they put ice cream and everything on it. I did not know that. So I'm going to share that with you. I told them to, to make it as chocolatey as possible. And oh my gosh, you know what they had here? Superman, Superman ice, cream. ice cream. I don't know if you guys remember that. Me and my husband talk about it all the time because when we were kids, he lived in a town about 30 minutes away from me. And where well, there was a mall. And I'm sure his mom took him to the same mall my mom did. They had an ice cream shop there. And they had Superman ice cream. I've never been able to find it again. Let me know in the comments if you've heard of it. Can you take my hat, Dad? I bet you have. I'm hot with it on. I'm hot. She's making her ice cream I'm hot in there. With it on. Hey, Superman ice cream. Uh, I want. I want. It's the best. It does look like Play-Doh and clay that you just mix together, but it's the bomb. It is the bomb. Can I have a bite, Mom? Yes, you can. Take a look. Tell me what you think about it. Mmm. Mm. Watch out for these guys. Evelyn got, awesome got a hold of my Superman. Hey. Is it awesome rainbow? Is it good? Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Superman. The best ice cream ever. You can have it. Eat it up. Can you eat it all? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We'll see. What kind is it? Uh, red. Red. And Green. Yellow. Yeah. Red. <laughs> Look at that donut. Chocolate, ice cream inside of it, Oreos, brownies. That's going to be the best donut I've ever had. Oh my goodness. And it's going to make me sick probably, but I'm going to eat it anyways. It's going to make me sick. <laughs> okay, our trip has come to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed the yarn shop. And if you guys tagged along with me to look at all this cool stuff in this town, it was pretty neat. And we got... Lots of cool ice cream and some candy, which I'll probably have to hide to eat it. My husband's saying yes, but Not no. Sure you will. I won't hide it. I might, but, I might not. but thanks for joining us on our trip. Okay, everybody, I am home now, and so I guess I'll show you my yarn haul real quick. But that was a nice town. I had a lot of cool stuff. I do want to show you my candy from the candy depot. Look at this candy. I can't wait to eat them. I don't even remember what flavors they were, but... Yep. Definitely gotta hide these from the kids. I love candy so much. Chocolate. Okay, here's the yarn I got from the yarn studio. Remember, I'll put a link to her um, website below in the description box. Super nice store. Lots of nice yarns. Very nice lady. Um, and she does sell her yarn, she said on her website so i got this baby blossom chunky hayfield yarn it's really soft i like it it's um 170 yards in a skein it is it looks like a acrylic and nylon blend it's super soft it's really pretty I've got, I guess it doesn't have a name, just the color, or the number there. But I got three skeins of this I'm going to make some type of either a baby dress or a baby shirt of some short, some sort. I have not decided, but I just, it's really soft. It's a four-ply yarn, so it's nice. I like it. And then I got this skein of 
You probably see me pick this up. Universal yarn major. It's super it's pretty. Um pretty brown. I love brown. It kinda of reminds me of um Michael's yarn, their brand loops and threads of it. Um it's hundred percent acrylic and it's a four ply two. Two hundred or there's three hundred and twenty eight yards in here. It's not a four ply, I'm sorry, it's a bulky. Bulky yarn. And it's really soft too. I like it. So I'm not sure. Well, I'll probably might save this up for the fall and fall and winter projects. Maybe make a scarf or something out of that. And then I got a, a cake of um, organic cotton, chunky weight. Um, it's really soft. I know what I think I'm going to do with this. So I'll probably make something with this soon. I have an idea what I'm going to do with it. It's nice and soft. Actually, the you only usually, or the cotton I usually is get is pieces and cream, and it's not very soft. But this is actually really nice. So I got this, which you'll probably be seeing this pretty soon in a tutorial. And I don't know why, but I saw this and I just had to get this. I fell in love with it. Um, bamboo bloom hand paints, Stephen B. I guess that's right. Oh, it's by Universal Yarns. So. I don't know why that says Stephen B. But anyways, it's by Universal Yarns. And it's called Bamboo Bloom. Um, it's a bulky five. Which I'm not sure what I'm going. Oh, that's the color, I guess. Stephen... Bellis. I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this yet, but it's really pretty. This Hank is. Isn't that pretty? I just, sometimes when I see a yarn, I just have to get it. Even though I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet, but I like how it goes from thin to chunky. I like yarns like that. And that's a pretty color. So I got that. And then she was very nice enough to give me a skein of her hand spun hand dyed yarn that she does clark county yarn company hand painted in the heartland of illinois so that's her yarn in which you'll be able to find this on her website also 100 percent merino wool 180 yards very pretty she did a good job that was a nice shop i really enjoyed it um i hope you guys enjoyed coming with me um, and remember, she does have a website, so I'll put that below. She's a very nice lady. So here is her card. There she is next to the Guinness Book World Records knitting needles. And she has the crochet hook. I actually have a picture of her. Me and her standing next to the crochet hook. Jeanette was a very nice lady. Here's her store hours. And the address. And her website. So, if you guys want to visit her site, I'll put it below in the description box. I really encourage you to check it out. Super good store. Super nice yarns. Thank you, everybody, for following along, tagging along with me. That was, that was a really nice town. They had all kinds of cool giant stuff if you guys watched me the whole way through. Um, if you guys know of any independent yarn stores that you think I should visit, um, let me know in the comment section and maybe I'll drop in and give them a visit. Maybe if you live by one, maybe we can, you can be there when I, when I come. So yeah, let me know. I like visiting these independent yarn stores. I like, I like to go to the big box stores too, but the, these, um, little stores, you know, I like visiting them a lot. They have a, they have some nice yarns there. So yeah, let me know, uh, if you know of any, um, you think maybe I should stop by and check it out. Uh, just let me know in the comments. Thanks everybody for coming along with us. Bye-bye.